What is up folks? My name is Skunk Commentary and I hoped and I prayed to god that I didn't have made the video. I hoped that Rasmus Paludan wouldn't return. That he would be just something to be remembered in in a weird history project sometime in the future. But no, he's back and he's gone rogue! <laughs> okay. So Rasmus Paludan decided that it would be an amazing idea to go to Almedalsveckan, which is a thing on Gotland where all the politicians from uh, Sweden gather up and show off what they want to do with their party and their election and then all that stuff. So they... and this is primarily meant for Swedish politicians. But still, Rasmus Bluden, he loves Sweden, I think. He can't get enough of us. Which, um, I mean, fair enough, but I'm, I, I also like Ikea and the meatballs, so can't really blame him. But anyway, he, he went to Gotland and... Uh, a couple of days went and he, you know, watched it all. He was careful what to do, but then, all of a sudden, now he has gone rogue. <laughs> so, with gone rogue, I, I am referring to the fact that he has always previously, you know, been, uh, you know, he has always previously have the, had. The, People have always previously been okay with what he has been doing because he has been allowed by by the government to protest. That is how he has been able to do what he has done. Which I personally don't agree with we, what with what he has done, but you know. This is not about my own opinion so far, but well, then he has been doing that and all, and uh, when he was on Gotland, he had no permission to do anything more than be there as you know, a guest, because everyone is allowed to be there, but if you want to protest or anything, you'll have to you know, have permission. But did Paludan trust the permission? No, now he went down to a place called Krutetornet, which in English is the Gunpowder Tower. And there, guess what he did? Well, I'm, not, I'm just gonna say he did not give out free candy or anything. No, he did what he's best at. Took a Koran and burned it, which I'm starting to believe is his only personality trait. Uh, joking aside, he did that as he usually does, and then he also went to another place, which was close to the river, uh, no, uh, the sea, and <laughs> he started burning another Koran, and this part, call it irony. <laughs> but he burned himself while burning a book that he did not have permission to burn. Or he did not have permission to do this protest kind of thing, which is what I've heard people call it. So he... <laughs> he burned himself. <laughs> I think this is... This might sound evil, but this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> I mean... This guy, he, what has been, he been? He's been burning these books for like uh, how long? How long has it done? Like a couple months? It can't be over a year, at least not here in Sweden. But he's been doing this for a long time. He knows what he is doing, but he still managed to burn himself. I think, I think this is quite fun. <laughs> Now, I'm not endorsing that you should laugh at someone for burning themselves, but 
when the guy is known to be, you know, doing this for a bad cause. Uh, yeah, he. The, you can say it's bad, you can say it's good, it's whatever, but he has really been. This was, in my opinion, quite fun because he has always been doing this. He has been doing this for the last couple of months and he managed to burn himself. So I guess you could call it Carmine one way, that he did not have permission, so he burned himself. Or you could really call it whatever you want, yeah. <laughs> But then again, he has... He went rogue. <laughs> he went rogue and got burned, I guess you could say. Now I die because my game fucking glitched. Doesn't matter. It's whatever. So yeah, he, he went rogue and he burned himself. But... This has really been, you know, causing up people to get mad that he has been going around burning and doing all of this stuff. Which I get. I get that people are mad by him doing this. I personally am not very fond of it. But still, he is going around burning books and then he burns himself. A, a poor guy. I almost feel bad for him. Um, yeah. And again, he he has done all this in Gotland without any, without being allowed to, which you could see as the crime hits mot folkgrupp or disrespect towards a protected group or whatever. Um, but I think this more goes under a thing that is very common in Gotland and it has been like that every summer since the birth of Christ. On Gotland the summer is usually extremely warm like 40 celsius warm sometimes I think that has been the record and all that and generally you're not allowed to grill or light any sort of fire and I don't really know what... I'm googling right now what is the... Yeah, um, uh, Alright, so I'm googling right now what... Um, you'll have to pay or go to jail for six months if you commit this crime. And correct me if you think I'm wrong, but in a place where it is illegal by law to light a fire and he still lights on, isn't that, you know him doing it or am I completely wrong by thinking that this was his first criminal action because whether I like it or not he is still innocent of committing head small folk or indecency against a protected group we can all give him the pass note, but then when it is, again, illegal to light a fire <laughs> and he still does it, yeah, Paludan, you, you, you uh, <laughs> you've done it. And, yeah, <laughs> 
I didn't think this day would actually happen. <laughs> but you could say it as some sort of karma. When he does something without, you know, being permitted to do it, then he goes and burns himself. <laughs> Which I still think is the most ironic thing in all of this. Because this guy, he has for months been using fire to... You know, for months he's been using fires to get people pissed. And this guy could be cheating. I think that guy could very well be cheating. But what will Paludan do next then? Well, if you ask me, I don't... I'm unsure if what he'll actually do. Because of all the things he has done, he could very well go and do something stupid soon again. But yeah, what what he has done throughout the years now, it is uh, it could soon very well, you know, get some effects and when he now has broken the law once, yeah, th this could have some really serious consequences for his uh, career going forward. So yeah, what, what do you think about these uh, crimes that has been going on now? <laughs> okay, I, I should stop calling it crimes because it's not really a crime to... It's not really that big a crime. He hasn't murdered someone or anything like that, but still. This thing is on. What do you think? And what do you think about him burning himself? Is it karma? Do you believe in karma? It's whatever. So until the next video.